everyone. I'm making some pot stickers today and I wanted to show you how I do mine because I'm not just making pot stickers in the skillet. I'm also going to stick some green beans in there. So I also chopped up like four or five cloves of garlic and this is thyme leaves from my my seasoned oil, which I'm running out of. It's time to make some more. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Just cook it on, uh, oh, like medium high until I get the pot stickers in there. Um, let's see, what else? All right, so the bag will tell you, you know, depending on the size of your skillet, how much to put in and how much to leave out. So I turned my heat down a little just because I need to wash my green beans. I thought it was, oh, I think my colander is in the bathroom where my kitchen is right now. Well, my, my wash sink, it's not really a kitchen. Yeah, got these. Some of them are frozen, so Oh yeah, they're clean because I got them from the freezer. I was washing first before freezing. So let's just stick in those pot stickers. I like the way I do it better than uh, the container because I want some seasoned garlic in there. So what I mean by different is it calls for just a tablespoon of oil, but I put a little more, I put like three or four in there because I use olive oil, it's a healthy oil anyway. And um, I'm just gonna cook those garlics a little bit more so that the oil is nice and seasoned even more. I'm a flavor junkie, so I like things to taste extra good, you know? So, time to take the time out. Some of it anyway. It's so easy because it sticks right there to the spatula. Ta-da! Look at that. Look at that, baby. I have to keep you close because my stupid microphone doesn't work that well. So, this is about good enough so I can like turn it way down so I can stick my pot stickers in there. Uh oh, gonna need a new spatula. All right. It tells you to put them flat side down, which I do. And of course, I had to drop one down here close to the fire. Let me stand next to your fire. Okay, flat side down. Gosh, I love pot stickers. I can't eat a whole lot of them. And when sitting, so I'm cooking like 12 to 11. Actually, there's only 11 left in this bag. Uh -oh, let me get back over here, garlic. Let my garlic Keep cooking. Putting my little pot stickers in. Make sure your hands are clean. I don't like to touch my food, but I just really scrub my hands. I try to, as a rule, not touch my food. Okay, so. The stickers are in. I'm going to wash this. I'm putting it in the garbage. I wash it and put it in the recycling because my grocery store accepts plastic bags to recycle. Okay, see th these guys? I'm also now going to put in my green beans. 
Then I'm going to fold the seasoning packets. They give you like four. Um, you only need one at a time. I'm going to wrap this in foil so that it'll cook right on top of the lid. I don't know why, but every time I make a video, my nose has to start itching. Must be a nervous habit, huh? All right, so I'm just putting my green beans right on top. And you could do this with broccoli, anything that will cook in eight minutes. I need to pull off those little things. Let's try. One, two, three, and two, three. I wish I lived in a growing, well, no, no, I like where I live, but I, I remember growing these green beans. See, I'm just going to fold it up. going to need water and since I don't have a kitchen sink I used I use bottled which I need to find one really quick <laughs> right now they're frying a little because my, my bottled water I keep in the bedroom I swear my microwave is in the bedroom and I got a mini fridge in here because uh, from when I broke my leg, I could just reach in and get TV dinners to pop in the microwave with a broken leg. So, okay, here we go. I'm going to put three quarters of a cup of water instead of two thirds because of the green beans. Then I have to cook it for eight minutes, so I'm just gonna set my timer. You cook it on medium high for eight minutes. <clears throat> Don't take them out any sooner because you gotta make sure if you're making a, a dumpling with meat in them, you gotta make sure they're cooked. And now it's time to put this somewhere. I'm gonna try to stick it here on the lid. Oh, I'm gonna need And that's all you do. And in eight minutes, the sauce will be hot and the dumplings will be done. And so will your green beans and it'll be time to eat. You can do this with peas, um, broccoli, cabbage, whatever you know you want. And that's it for this video. Bon appetit.